Hey folks, welcome back to my channel and we're still in Christmas season. It may even be Christmas, I have no idea. I'm putting a few videos up and i am kind of got a bit of an opportunity to get a few videos made uh, up until the run of Christmas because I'm going away for a couple of weeks. Well, no, no, I'm not going away for a couple of weeks. I'm going away for a few days. Um, got a lot of things on over Christmas so I thought I would come in, make a few videos before Christmas and put them up over Christmas. That's why I don't really know when they're going to be aired. So we're still in tinsel season. Tinsel. And I thought I'd make another tinsel project for you. Thinking somewhere along the lines maybe of a tinsel vase this time. I've got some tinsel left. Some of this stuff which and we've got some gold. Some silver. But that's it. We've run out of red. Really could do with a bit more red actually. Don't have any and I haven't got time to go to the shop. Hang on. Got an idea. Don't worry, she won't mind. So we've got some red tinsel now and I think this is all we need. Red, gold, silver and a bit of the glass looking mirror type looking tinsel mixed all together to make a really cool Christmas tinsel vase. So let's do this. Right, this is coming on, it's making a lot of mess, but it's coming on.
So this is as far as we've got. Um, I was kind of not really knowing where I was going with the shape, but um, this sort of come to me. I don't really know why, but I don't know, it had to be something. Um, I know I've taken quite a bit off, but I just wanted to try and get rid of all of this wood. Um, there is still a little bit right at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't really. Put the light in it. There. I did want to try and get rid of that, but I don't really think I can in the way that it's been designed now, but that's all right, not too bad. Um, so I just rub this down lightly. Um, I'm going to take it off here. I'm not going to leave this. I'm going to take it off here. So this is going to be where it's going to finish. I'm not sure whether or not to incorporate a piece of wood onto this yet or not. I don't know. I might do. Um, just to sort of like give it something extra, but I'm not too sure. But we'll see. Uh, Right, now we're going to apply some finishes, see if we can buff this up. Almost done, but I think it needs a little something extra. How's that? So I thought I'd put a little bit of burr on the bottom of this to try and give it a little bit of a different kind of feature. There's more of a like a ornamental vase. So it could kind of sit up on your kind of mantelpiece or shelf um, and you can put whatever you want in it. It's got quite a decent sized hole. This tinsel is really cool. I really like it. I am uh, I like to use more of it actually. If you look at the, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? Yeah kind of sort of creates kind of a funky 
look this tinsel so I didn't really know what kind of vase shape I was going with and it kind of just sort of sprung to me at the end that this might work um, it's a smaller vase I know I took quite a lot of material off of this because um, I was just really thinking about you know what shape to have and how to do this really got the piece of wood in the bottom there again can't really see it hang on that better a little bit of wood in the bottom there now initially I did put a, another piece of wood in the bottom of this because I kind of thought that was going to be attached to the bottom we were going to see that but as time went on um, I didn't go all the way to the bottom and then obviously didn't see the bottom anyway so because we put this on there just to finish it off and make it look a bit different I put my little logo in here and here I put some just sort of green felt pads you don't have to use green felt pads if you're going to try and do this or want to try and do it um, you can put anything on the bottom here as feet. This is I only put this on because that's all I had But probably would have had black ones if I'd have found black ones or maybe some rubber ones that I had last time But they're alright. It's quite nice to have them on there just in case it sort of you know Damages your table or something. So there it is. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed watching me make that I might make another tinsel project I'm not too sure but this may be the last one for the moment anyway so I'll leave stills up at the end as always and uh, again I hope you like it. I do really like working with this burwood, it's really quite nice, quite funky, kind of looks like it's something come out from the sea. And again you can put anything you want into here. Again you don't have to put flowers in it, anything you want in it. Put some pencils in it. You can put some sharpies in it. And you all know how I like my coloured pencils, so maybe we could put some coloured pencils in it. Actually looks kind of funky. I like that. So there it is folks. I hope you like it and I hope it was an enjoyable video for you guys to watch over Christmas. Maybe it's given you some ideas what to make with tinsel. And you could probably make all sorts of little things with this tinsel. So if you could give us a thumbs up, I really would appreciate it. If you could share the video, that always really helps. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button for more funky looking weird videos and some weird stuff from me. And if you've got some old tinsel lying around, Maybe you can make one of these. Dad?